Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Um, today I want to talk about um, refrigerators. You know, they don't make these things the way they used to. Um, I had a refrigerator, a Frigidaire brand refrigerator when uh, I first bought this house and it lasted over 20 years. Um, and this one, this one I got it in 2020 during the during the pandemic but uh it's already it's already has a has a water spot right there i don't know if you can see it but there it is right there but they you know they don't make these things the way they used to um now with this refrigerator what i noticed um is that the gasket inside uh, this gasket here inside of the door this gasket I put a new gasket on because uh, what I noticed is that it got squished right here like squished in and there was a gap between between the uh, gasket and the actual body of, of the refrigerator right here. And there was some air, um, air seepage. So, so I bought the new gasket, um, original Frigidaire brand gasket, and put that on there. And then what I noticed is that the refrigerator, it wouldn't close. Like it would constantly stay stay like this like it wouldn't actually close so I um uh, it took a while to finally figure out what was wrong and um what I wound up doing was I wound up lifting up the, f the front feet now in the manual in the manual it um, says to take off this grate, and there's supposed to be two screws on each on each side of this grate that you would use. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's supposed to be two screws here. Um, there's a screw here, but this screw doesn't do. This is not the screw that is showing in the manual. And if you notice, there's another screw on this side, but they don't they don't control lifting up the front of the refrigerator. So, despite what the manual tells you, um I'm going to tell you what you have to do, and this is what I done. Now, there's a couple things that were done here. Now, the feet, what I use is I use these sliders. Now, these sliders do get old um, over time, so I, I replace the sliders. But the way you do this, especially if you're by yourself, you would take a crowbar, a crowbar like this, and a block of wood. I don't have it right now, but you would take this crowbar and a block of wood and set the uh, crowbar on top of the wood and lift up on the refrigerator just enough to get to the feet. Not the wheels, but the feet. Now, once you do that, you're gonna be able to actually turn the feet to raise the front of the refrigerator. And that's what is setting on um, these um, these sliders here are the feet, the feet of the refrigerator. And once you lift the refrigerator up, you're going to be able to turn to to turn those feet by hand. You don't need any any more tools other than a crowbar a block of wood and your hands to do this. So you will basically turn each each foot 
Um, and you know what direction to turn them, you know, because as it, as you're turning it, it, it either goes up or down, like the actual feet actually are going up and down. So you know which direction. I think it's clockwise, and that makes the feet taller. So you would do each side, each side the same way. And that's what wound up... That's what wound up fixing the issue of the door actually not coming to a complete, like completely closing. That's what actually fixed that issue. Um, and another reason why I say that they don't make these things the way they used to is because... Um, I've got another residence where I bought a um, a, a Frigidaire brand brand um, refrigerator, and what I noticed with it is, okay, I accidentally dropped like a bottle of water or a bottle of juice down onto the the onto the bottom of the refrigerator, uh, not the door, but the bottom of the actual refrigerator, and it actually cracked that's something that never happened with an older style refrigerator you know it's just that it's unfortunate that they make you know this plastic and this metal so thin these days um and see they do that on purpose because yeah those older appliances lasted 20 30 years but now these newer appliances, they're the same cost, but they only last like five, six years. You, you, you would be lucky to get 10 years out of it. But um, that's just some advice that I had. So hope you all have a good one.